everybody. It's morning in Dallas. My bright idea was to walk and talk and do this vlog and I'm sweating and it's hot and yucky. So I'm not sure if it was a bright idea. Anyways, I'm really excited. The Dallas Library invited me, one of the local homeless community here, the local coalition and the library partnered and they have me speaking at noon, but what I'm running to, which is so awesome, they have a coffee and conversation scheduled with local homeless people that access the library and they offer services there. So we're going to meet a wonderful bunch of homeless people this morning. We're going to learn about how the Dallas Library integrates case management in their other services. So it's gonna be a wonderful day. Follow along. Heather, Hi. we're at the Dallas Library. Um, behind us or over to the side, people are getting coffee. So tell us what's going on this morning. So it's a typical morning and in, in the library. Uh, we have lots of our homeless neighbors who line up right before we open and this morning we have an opportunity to serve them coffee. So we're just welcoming people in and giving them a good hot cup of coffee. So you were telling me that um, a huge percentage of people come in and run for the computers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we think of, when we think of people who are experiencing homelessness, we think, oh, they need shelter, they need food, and yes, of course, they need those things, but they also need connection to their loved ones, to some normalcy, and access to the internet is a big part of that. Yeah, and the lady watching Lady Gaga videos offers <laughs> yeah, exactly. an, an escape, <laughs> exactly. you know? Exactly. And uh, from the day to day. So yeah. uh, tell me what kind of services you have going on here. So we provide, uh, we have a special service desk. Um, it's called our help desk. It stands for Homeless Engagement and Leadership Program. Um, and we do what librarians do. We give referrals. We know, you know, we have relationships with a lot of the service organizations in the area. Um, so if someone's needing housing or food or clothes, we know who to send them to. Um, but we also have special programs like art programs. We have uh, music classes people can come in and practice you know keyboard anytime we're open um, we have art walks we have crafting um, you know poetry all of those kinds of things how many people do you see in a week definitely I mean in the building I would say hundreds um, in our programs certainly you know probably a couple hundred why is it important for libraries to provide services to people experiencing homelessness well, you know, people experiencing homelessness use the library for the same reason that anyone else uses the library. It's a comfortable space to be. They're trying to find information. Here to get out of the heat. Yeah, it's safe, it's comfortable, it's inviting. Several years ago, we realized we could either look at this as a problem or an opportunity, and I'm glad today we chose to look at it as an opportunity to, to really be a true service uh, organization. Cool. Tell me who you are. I'm Joe Gideis, the director of the Dallas Public Library. This is the <laughs> woman who is in charge of the library and yeah. is very instrumental in changing operations to take better care of our homeless friends. Yes, absolutely. We made some, I think, some steps to make them more human, to be recognized as the human beings that they are and respect that they deserve. So what was happening before? So basically, you know, like, we all sort of do when we're out in public, you know, don't look at them, they won't talk to you, right? But and that was happening in the that library? That was happening most certainly here in the library, and we just started with, you know, standing at the door welcoming them on the way in, learning their names, and getting their story. They're human beings. Yeah. And what is the result of doing that? What is the change that you're seeing? Relationships, trust. Um, changes in behavior, um, and we are now working on a tenet of respect. We respect you and you respect us. Uh, 
this morning you had the coffee and conversation, which I thought was brilliant because you have a separate area and yep. then you also offer GED classes and right. art classes and music and, uh, but the separate area allows for kind of just for them to take ownership, I guess you'd say. It is, and it is a beautiful, colorful space, yeah. and, it, and how can you not be happy to be there? Yeah. And it just really um, gives us an opportunity to talk to each other, get to know each other, and ask them what they want in services from the library, because we are there to serve and them. She's looking at her clock. And <laughs> I got a phone call. <laughs> well, oh, and, oh, and, I, and I've got to go speak. So That's right. I'll, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you here. Thank this you for gonna, being here. This could be an awesome afternoon. Okay. Sure you know, share some ideas about homelessness, and uh, then I'm gonna go into a bit about digital inclusion, which is really, I think, fits uh, this library uh, very well, um, and a conversation that uh, I think is important, because digital inclusion often um, is now included with poverty, but it's not necessarily included with the homeless population. And if there was one thing that I could leave you with is that Whatever resources you have is far more than what I had at the time. And um, pretty amazing. So I started traveling uh, all around the country interviewing homeless people. If you pay for somebody that's homeless monthly bill, you'd probably say no. But if I asked you, could you help me make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for them, you'd probably give me 20 bucks. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yeah, they're hungry. Okay, yeah. It's not going to help them get out of homelessness. Charity never has never solved any social crisis. And my point is really that we need to take action. We need to do something. And it's up to you, everybody in this room, and everybody that you know that you're going to go talk about is changing perceptions on homelessness and mobile technology. Just finished speaking at the library. It was awesome. Uh, great attendance. They say uh, most people that they've had in attendance since they started having these conversations um, really encouraged uh, by the questions people were asking. I talked about homelessness but I also uh, talked about digital inclusion which I felt uh, was important to this space and it's an important conversation because there's something about people um, experiencing poverty especially people experiencing homelessness that uh, we feel when I say we the general public the general public believes that they you know shouldn't have the very tools we take for granted and that could help better their lives and I'm talking about a smartphone you know, how do you connect to others or how do you find a job or how do you find, you know, where you're going or whatever today if you can't connect to the internet. It's a vital part of everybody's life and that includes people that are unfortunately without a home. Thank you everybody for joining me today. This is gonna be probably one of the shorter vlogs. I'm still learning how to do this, trying to establish a format. Um, please, if you like this video, please hit like. Uh, if you have some feedback, I'm doing my best to respond to the comments. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to support this important work, please uh, click the Patreon link at the end of this video. Uh, for as little as $2 a month, you can support our work in helping to get these stories out and get cool rewards. I'm gonna continue trying to work on blogging. Uh, some of the issues is that I, in, in some situations, I don't have permission to videotape and I will never videotape uh, without somebody's permission. I just won't. Uh, so that's a challenge that I got to work out around and um, hopefully I'll be able to develop a format and a system to be able to, you know, do some effective storytelling uh, behind the scenes, if you will, uh, and bring those stories to you. So thank you everybody for uh, watching and uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and support us on Patreon. Thank you.